New York's Muddy Trail Advisory is still on above 2,500 feet. It's still pretty muddy up there in the high peaks, and hiking in those conditions can be dangerous and cause trail erosion and hurt plants. But down lower, all this sun is firming things up, and the hiking season is on. A spring hike with a childhood friend for a view of Lake George on today's Story of the Day. Support for Story of the Day comes from Seacom Credit Union, serving the financial needs of people throughout northern New York and Vermont, in person, online at seacom.org, and on your smartphone. And from the Lake Harris Lodge, featuring a Mother's Day brunch this Sunday that includes a variety of mimosas, classic menu items, and live music from Dave Hyde. Details at thelakeharrislodge.com. Hey, I'm David Sommerstein. It's Thursday, May 11th. First up, speaking of getting outdoors, it's been a busy week for forest rangers doing search and rescues in the Adirondacks. Last Tuesday, a hiker injured their ankle on Prospect Mountain in Lake George and had to be helped off the trail by two rangers. On Saturday evening, a hiker dislocated his shoulder on the trail to Grace Peak and ultimately became too weak to walk. Rangers carried him a mile and a half back to the trailhead. That rescue took 11 hours to complete. Finally, on Sunday, a woman hiking Tabletop Mountain called for help due to severe migraines and nausea. Rangers drove her on an ATV from Marcy Dam back to the trailhead. Saratoga Arts is among a dozen arts organizations around the region to get new state grants recently. It was awarded $766,000 from the New York State Council on the Arts to help support the center's $2 million revitalization project. Saratoga Arts Director Louise Kerr agrees with Governor Kathy Hochul, who said in a press release that strengthening the creative sector increases tourism, boosts the economy, and enhances a region's heritage and cultural life. The arts They touch so much of our lives that we don't even think about, right? So Saratoga Springs, people think health history and horses. And a dear colleague of mine, Sarah Craig from Cathay Lena, she said, you know, what what they don't know is the health actually really means arts. (laughs) That's what contributes to the health of a community. You know, if you think about if there was no music, no photography, no painting, no dance, no concert to go to or book festival or markets in the park, no beautiful objects made by artists. It'd be pretty dismal. (laughs) These things are really, it's what makes Saratoga such a wonderful place to live or any place wonderful to live. The Saratoga Arts Grant is part of a record capital project funding announcement by the state's Arts Council, which totals over $2 million to 144 capital projects across the state. Eleven projects in the North Country will receive grants, including Historic Saranac Lake, the Adirondack Historical Association, Fort Ticonderoga, the Old Forge Library, and the North Country Children's Museum in Potsdam. Spring is in full bloom here in the North Country, but there's still some snow, ice, and mud in the Adirondack High Peaks, so hikers should still avoid climbing above 2,500 feet. The Lake George area has plenty of great lower trails to explore this time of year. On a warm, sunny day last spring, our Adirondack reporter Emily Russell met up with a friend for a hike up Buck Mountain. I grew up in Glens Falls, right on the edge of the Adirondack Park, but I was not an outdoorsy kid, and neither was my best friend. We preferred playing dress up or having pool parties, but we're both older now and living back in the North Country, so we decided to take a hike together up Buck Mountain. Today is a special day because I get to hike with my childhood best friend who lives in Glens Falls. Um, Okay, so introduce yourself. I'm Alex Davis. We have known each other since we were uh, five or younger. (laughs) Happy to be here. Yeah. (laughs) We both didn't love hiking at the time, but now it's great to be in the woods together. And this day in the woods is a beautiful one. The sun is up. It's warm out. There aren't any bugs yet. It is mud season in the high peaks, but down here in the Lake George area, it's pretty dry. The trail dips down and there's this huge 
long stretch of big boulders and rock faces. A bit of ice just broke off. We hear it fall and shatter against the rock, the sound of winter succumbing to spring. It feels really wild back here, which is amazing considering how close we are to big towns like Lake George and Glens Falls. I ask Alex about that. You live really close to here, yeah. like yep. 20 minutes. Yep, it took me 24 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so that's really cool. Like you come from a neighborhood in Glens Falls and then you're yeah. here. I mean, flat and houses next to each other. And now we are very much in the middle of the woods without any of that. So. And it's beautiful. Yes. And the lake is beautiful. I'm looking forward to the view at the top. Alex loves being on Lake George, swimming and boating. Hiking above it is a bit different, but rewarding in its own way. This trail crosses a bunch of streams. This one is shimmering in the sun, and it's just so beautiful right now. Green, there's green moss on the rocks, and just bright, fresh, cold water coming down the mountain. We hike on, sometimes with our hands on our knees, gasping for breath as we climb. To pass the time, we daydream about adventures to come. Okay, do you have any, like, summer, spring or summer hiking goals or plans? Um, I told you, I'd like to do noon mark. Mm -hmm. That is my big goal. I made it three quarters of the way one time. I had to slide down on ice. Oh. It was slightly treacherous Uh and... Next time I try, it will be ice-free season. Yeah. So that's, that's my big goal this year. Yeah. As we get closer to the summit, the trail gets even steeper. Thankfully, there's really not much ice or mud, so it's just a matter of putting one foot in front of the other and stopping every now and then. Taking a little break, a little bit below the summit, and we're high enough now that we can see Lake George. Yeah, through the trees. Through the trees. We're almost there. Pretty quickly, the trees thin out, and the trail leads us up onto an open mound of rock. So nice. From the summit, we see Lake George laid out in front of us, a long ribbon of blue bordered by mountains stretching out into the horizon. We can see Gore Mountain. We can see all of the snow-covered trails still there. Um, There's a bit of ice lining the edge of the lake. And uh, you can see the high peaks. There's still snow over there. Yeah. It's beautiful. I'm very proud of myself for making it to the top. And uh, I just really appreciate seeing Lake George from here. Yeah. It's one thing to be on it, and it's another thing to see it from here. On the summit of Buck Mountain above Lake George, with my friend Alex Davis, I'm Emily Russell for North Country Public Radio. The story first aired in 2022. You can find photos of Emily's hike on our website, ncpr.org. If you don't listen to Story of the Day as a podcast yet, why not? It's free, it's downloaded automatically to your device of choice, and it's available earlier than it is on the radio. You want to stay up with the North Country news, right? So podcast Story of the Day. Search for it in your podcast app of choice or go to ncpr.org slash podcast to get started. And although no one's ever taken me up on it, I'd be happy to personally help you set it up. Just email me, david at ncpr.org, and we'll make it happen. Music today by Rights and Tongue of Edwards and the Saranac Project of Saranac Lake. I'm David Summerstein, North Country Public Radio.